Yeah, right, what's going on people? It's Aaron Drapes, lead sound engineer of the Mixtape Project, CIC. Um, yeah, basically I'm just going to do a little tutorial to show you how you can utilise the Logic Pro template that I've created. So, on my computer, um, I've actually imported it into my Logic folder, which is here. I've already extracted it from the zip file. So, if I go in here, um, you've got your bus settings, yeah. You've got your channel strip settings, vocal, main, main tape, stabs, and ad libs. Quite simple, um, and whole project templates. So I've given you a little mastering template, which I'm not going to really go into too tough now. Um, you've, but you've got your vocal recording template, which encompasses all of these tri um, strips and um, groups them as well <clears throat> but you'll see in a minute okay so you know this this template is is perfect for recording um, tracks for mixtapes and stuff like that you know that's what it's designed for but um, first of all you need to find out where to actually put it yeah and you need to allocate these individual um, templates and settings in the right folders so what we're going to do is go to finder a new finder window um, we'll go to here and you some of you will have different names for here um, which is basically the the users this is your user tab um, and you go to library and application support scroll down to logic and project templates now I haven't actually got any project templates on my computer at the moment so this will be the first one uh, if I click in here um, what I'll do is instead of moving them I'll do I'll clone them I'll copy them so command C and then I'll command V paste them in that folder right and I'll go back and then if I go back go to my bus settings I can copy my bus settings if I select them all command C once again go to my bus settings and command V right so they should all be there now what I'll do is get rid of these windows and open Logic Pro. So I'm going to use Logic Pro 9 to show you first of all. Right, so when Logic is opened, you should see um, your templates here. So you've got under the Explore tab, you've got your normal Logic templates and compose as well produce but you want to go to my templates and you should now see the templates that have been imported All right so what we're going to do is open the vocal recording one and then if you're recording an artist you know you just type in um, rap session one obviously you name it whatever you want to name it um, you might want to create a folder if you haven't already to keep everything organized because you know if you leave it um, to just build up build up build up build up it's not going to be good for you okay so I'll just put a uh, mixtape project sessions right cool and then save okay so you should be able to see that um, on here we've got everything lined up so if you had um, the instrumental I mean this is very basic this is just very basic but I've lined up everything so you've got the instrument at the top um, there's also a channel EQ on that channel uh, if you double click it you'll be able to bring it up and it just you know I just dipped out the midsection of it so that it gives room for the vocal 
because you want to make space for everything, don't you? So, um, yeah, that's already done. Um, now, on the first track underneath that, vocal one, this is for your main vocal, yeah? Now, <clears throat> I mean, everything is kind of set, you know, but you might want to tweak certain things. But, you know, for, for, for those that are just recording tracks and basically just want to, you know, just want to get things done in a quicker process and stuff like that, this is brilliant. Um, you don't necessarily have to keep to this. You can make your individual tweaks to it, you know. Um, if you record a vocal win and you need to turn it down, you just turn it down. Don't be afraid. Um, but one thing I'd advise: never ever go above zero zero, because you never you don't want anything peaking in the red, right? So you got your main take uh, channel strip here. Here we have ascend with reverb, and that is basically um, yeah, that's that's the reverb here on the reverb channel, which is here. And so I'm sending in this signal into here. Right. Uh, then I got the vocal stabs. Yeah. You know, I've just dipped out the middle and the end. Um, and put a sample delay so it gives the effect that it's splitting it. As I said, you'll find out a lot more in the actual course um, where I actually go through the recording process. And then here you have the ad libs. So as I said, you know, if you record the ad libs and you just they're they're not loud enough, then you just turn them up, you know, and do it according to your ear. This is just a template and a guideline, right? So you've got space for one vocal here. Sorry, one artist. So you could probably use this as the chorus if you wanted to use it, you know. Um if you wanted to change this channel strip, you could easily just you know go here reset and you could press command and alt and you could drag over each one so you're holding command and alt at all times and you might want to record one main take and two stabs right make them the same level and you might want to spread them left and right for a chorus you know so what I'm basically trying to show you is that you, you you can change it up you know it's just a guideline and you can um, near enough do exactly what you want to do with it um, yeah so you've got the main take and the stabs and ad-libs on vocal 2 as well so this one where it's got the three tracks you can see that they're all on bus 3 which is allocated to bus 3 here, vocal group 1. I've used the other buses for the echo and the reverb. Um, the echo will be on automatically on the ad-lib channel. Right? Um, yeah, so basically you know, I've, all, I've grouped these together and it just kind of gives you more control over the whole set of vocals once you've done that. So, you know, if you recorded the, you know, the main and the stabs and then it would be, it would go through here, the signal. Now, I've added a little bit of um, brightness to the top. It might be a bit too bright for you, so you might want to turn it down, you know. I'm just trying to show you that you can amend it exactly how you want to. I've put a little bit of reverb on here. You know, I've sent a little bit of reverb into that group. Yeah, so if I press, you know, chorus, if the chorus was um was recorded into this channel, into into these channels here, and then it's sent over here, then yeah, basically I just rename it chorus. And then this these set here might be, you know, your artist. So that'll be your artist main, stabs and ad libs. And then that would go into vocal group two. So, you know, if you had an artist, you know, rapper one or rapper verse one. Yeah. So that just, it's just a clear indication. So, you know, you've got here. And the good thing about it is you can also color it. So if you press 
or C to keep them together, you know, to organize things, you can do that. Yeah, and then you can also do it with this as well, or C. It's another thing that I like to do. Alt C again. Yeah, so you know that could be the the first one. Um, let me make sure that corresponds with the chorus. So here, um, that's blue. So that one could be that one. This one could be this one. And this one would be this one here. So it's all corresponding, yeah. Um, now all of these tracks. So if you had, you know, your chorus and you had three different rappers, yeah, your chorus would be here, and your three different rappers grouped vocals that are here would be on these ones, and these all of these are then grouped onto an additional one at the end. And you can notice where I've taken out a bottom, the bottom end here. It's just to further clean the vocal, basically. Like I said, there's a bit of brightness there. You might want to turn it down a bit. It, it depends on your microphone, really, you know, to get the clearness and the clarity. And also, if you're using MP3s, um, they might not necessarily be, you know, the top end of the MP3 is already compressed as opposed to a WAV. So, you know, you don't want to have too much brightness on the vocal at the top end when the instrumental is dull. So that, in that case, you might want to turn it down. If it's a WAV, it might be a bit different. But um, just amend according to your ear and what you think needs to be done and what you can hear, right? So, yeah, basically, this is the template. Um, if you have any more queries, issues, um, feel free to email me at the mixtape project uk at gmail dot com or go to the mixtape project dot com and um yeah you can basically liaise with me through there or contact or issues and um yeah good luck with all